Hey everyone, so today we're gonna talk about something called pointillism, um, also known as stippling. And it is basically when you use a bunch of little dots, okay, to create a piece of artwork. So I'm gonna show you what I mean. Um, and to do this, okay, you're gonna need either a marker or watercolors and a brush or watercolors and a Q-tip or dot markers, okay? There's a lot of different ways you can do this. In fact, you can do this with almost any media, um, but we're today gonna either be using watercolor or markers depending on what you have at home, okay? So I'm gonna move my hammer down so you can see what I'm doing. And um, I'm gonna just show you a variety of stippling and then, um, and then we're gonna go ahead and get started, okay? So let's say you wanna do a piece of artwork with um, a Sharpie, okay? Stippling is the act of creating dots, okay? Over and over again to create a picture of some sort, okay? Now, um, we're gonna do a simplistic version of stippling but some artists will actually stipple different colors over um, each other so that they create new colors, okay? Um, but we're gonna keep it simple today and just use one color, okay? So again, this is stippling, okay? And if I was using a marker, you know, I'm just gonna create some sort of design, okay? by pressing down on the tip, okay? Not too hard, because otherwise you'll ruin the tip of the marker, okay? Okay, so again, this is stippling, okay? I just created an organic shape here, meaning that it has curvy lines, okay? And it doesn't have a name. And then I created a curvy line here. Um, let's say we want to stipple with watercolors. Okay, for this, you're going to get your brush wet, okay? And let's stick with our whole theme of black for this, okay? So I'm going to go ahead, dip my brush in the black, okay? And then dot, 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 okay? Okay, so that's how you do it with watercolor. Um, you can also do this. You can get the color that you're gonna use, you can get it nice and wet by putting some water on top of it. And you can take a Q-tip and you can dip it in the watercolor and go dot, 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 dot. And you're gonna get a nice rounder circle when you do this, okay? And then you can just keep going until you've created some sort of image. Some of you might also have these dot markers at home. You're welcome to use these. Um, the dots are a lot bigger, so it's a little bit harder to maybe get a detailed image. But you could also do this, do the markers, and then go back in with a Q-tip with watercolor. Okay? So now. I'm going to show you how to go about doing this project. You get to create whatever kind of picture you want, okay? And some people like to draw it out really lightly in pencil first, and some people don't, okay? And I'm going to leave that up to you. And, you know, I have this saying in the art room, draw light until you got it right. So what I'm going to do is just do a really light drawing of a rocket ship, okay? Because our school is called Stargate, okay? So this rocket ship is gonna go all the way to the stars. So notice I'm drawing this very lightly, okay? So that it's not obvious that you can see the pencil lines. 
And when my watercolor dries, I can actually go back in and try to erase my pencil lines if I want to, but I don't have to, okay? And then I'm gonna create a few stars here and keep this fairly simple for the sake of time, okay? And then what I'm gonna go ahead and do, and again, if you don't have a Q-tip, you can do this with a brush. If you don't have watercolors for whatever reason, like you ran out, you can do this with a black Sharpie. You can do this with um, a water, um, uh, sorry, a washable marker or a regular marker, or you can even do it with these dot markers. But again, these are really thick, so it might be harder to get the effect that you want, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and get started with my Q-tip. And actually, like, depending on how close you put the dots together, you might not even really be able to see your pencil lines, okay? So the act of creating these dots is called stippling. And after it's done, okay, um, the, the image is called a pointillism piece of artwork, okay? because you're using a point over and over again. Okay, uh-oh, I didn't wanna, I didn't wanna do that, but whatever. We always make mistakes in art and we find ways to fix them. That's part of being creative, right? So I created that line that I didn't really want. So now I'm actually gonna create more lines to make it look like I tried to create that line, like I wanted it there, okay? So you kind of get the point. Now, if you do this with black and you're like, oh my gosh, I am loving this. This is so much fun. Could you create <clears throat> another image using more colors? Absolutely. Now I'm pretty fast because I'm 36 years old and I've been doing art for a long time. I don't expect you guys to work this fast, okay? You are, I'm probably 30 years older than most of you, okay? So I've got my little dots. Now, these stars are gonna be harder, okay? So what I'm gonna do actually is I'm gonna use the other side of my Q-tip and just get a little bit of paint things are really hard to do. All right, so now I've got my rocket ship. When it's all dry, if I want, I can go back in and I can add more color. Um, I could even go back in with my dot markers and create a bunch of dots inside to color it in. I could go back in with my watercolor Okay, and do a bunch of dots to fill it in, okay? Now, if you have any questions, I will answer them in Google Meet. Again, the technique is called stippling. Techni technique is what you're actually doing with your hands when you create the pointillism piece of artwork, okay? Or pointillist artwork. Um, and so um, I'm stippling, okay? And then I've got my finished pointillism piece. All right, happy art making.